Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so that you can stay in and be the blessing to those the Lord has put around you today. So, man, oh, man, oh, man, have you ever had a week where the Lord just is, like, harping on something with you? (laughs) I both love and simultaneously hate it when this happens. So this week, um, I'll just tell you what I learned. Um, I'm reading this parenting book, and I get to this this chapter in this parenting book called, um, hold on, External Triggers. And how to, uh, the question is, when will they ever change? (laughs) Anyway, um, and basically the point of this chapter was telling us that your children are a gift. And maybe the gift of your children, and and maybe the gift of your strong-willed children, wasn't so much about them being strong-willed as them being given to you by the Lord to help smooth out your rough edges. And this book goes on to suggest that it's in our family that was designed by God to be the laboratory where our holiness is uh, perfected. And in this other book that I'm reading, I come to this passage on 2 Peter um, 1, verse 5 through 7. And here, Peter, it's an introduction. And here, Peter is telling us that as Christians, we have been given everything we need to live a godly and holy life. And this reads, For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. And the point of this reading was that the tough people that come into your life are ordained by the Lord on as sandpaper to smooth out your rough edges. And these interactions are designed to remind us that we were once hostile to God, right? When we were not Christian people, we were hostile to God and we we were unlovable and he loved us anyway. And God puts these people in our path so that we can be reminded of that and we can actually turn and love them. So as you go to the Lord today and ask him for love for some unlovable person or an extra measure of love for the people you love in your house, um, I pray that he would grant you that. And I know that he will grant you that as you go, as you stay in today and be the blessing until next time, Katie.